Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 844. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 836 to 847, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we want to look up the last date in this column where there is an N in this column. So in this case, we have three Ns. The last one is that. So we want to return 11.2 to this cell right here. Now, looking up a last item in the column, uh, lookup functions like lookup, and VLOOKUP and MATCH. If you give it a bigger number than any number in the column, it'll always find the last one. Now, the only trick is we have an extra condition, right? We have to isolate not all the values here, just the ones that have an, uh, an N in this second column. So we need to then look up from that, that, and that, and get the last one. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use the LOOKUP function, equals LOOKUP. And the way the LOOKUP lookup value or vlookup lookup value or match lookup value if you give this argument a ridiculously big number and then you highlight a whole column like this it'll always get the last one if you do approximate match now lookup only does approximate match if you know how to use vlookup or match you have to tell it either approximate or exact and then match has another option also so i'm going to give it a gigantic number here and the biggest excel number that excel knows is 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 9 point and 14 nines. E plus 307. That's scientific notation. Though. That's the biggest Excel number Excel knows. Now, that's overkill, right? <laughs> any big number will do that's bigger than anything in your column. Now, the only trick is I can't highlight this whole column here because I have a condition. No problem. I'm going to highlight this whole column here. Those are numbers, right? Dates are numbers. And then I'm going to divide it by. Now, the trick here is this lookup vector allows us with the lookup function, we can say, pick a, num a position from here. And then the result vector is where we'll pull the number. And that's where we'll put all of our dates. So I'm going to divide that by, in parentheses, hey, anything in there equal to n. Now, what's this doing? This is going to give us trues and falses if I highlight that and hit F9. Now, all of these numbers, which are date serial numbers, anything in there divided by a true will give us the actual number. All right? So I'm going to Control Z. If I highlight this whole thing here, this is an array. We're doing an operation, this division on an array. Luckily, the lookup function can handle arrays. Most functions can't. So um, let's highlight this by hitting F9. And sure enough, Divide by error. Yeah, because we're dividing by a false, which is 0. Number, number, number. And we want the last one. Now, the cool thing also about lookup is it'll just flat out ignore those divide by arrows and get the biggest number, which is that one right there, Control Z. But the combination of lookup and lookup vector just give us the position. We then need to give it the actual values to return. Close parentheses. Right, so it's 11, 2. Um, now, what if there's nothing in this column here? Why right, we get NA? Now, in here's what you'd have to do in 2003 or earlier. You'd have to do if is error and place that little lookup. And then the value if true, meaning if it's an error, would be double quote. And then repeat lookup. So that was a construction we did 2003 or earlier. Luckily, 2007 and 10, they have this awesome function if error. It just doesn't need to repeat the lookup twice. It just has either as a value or an error, comma, and you tell it to what to put in the cell if it's an error, which is a null text string, which shows as nothing. All right, so now if I type uh, n, and by the way, little n and big n are the same in terms of Excel, the y. Right, and if I change this to Y, right, then it better be looking up Y, which is 2. If I put an N here, then it better give me uh, 1031. All right, looking up last date when there's an N in this column. See you next video.